Hello everyone, and welcome to Galore Techs. Today we will take you inside the first insanely breathtaking high-tech desert city of Saudi Arabia known as The Line. Sounds exciting right? Well it's not just a city, but a whole new world, powered by groundbreaking artificial intelligence innovations of every kind. Prepare to be amazed as we move forward with the video. You may have often heard about how AI is taking over the world, and the revolutionary advancements that are gradually replacing workers. Everything is appreciable at its end, but Saudia's recent highlight about its infrastructure with AI interference in their new city project is just mind-boggling. It's a city that will undoubtedly transform people's perceptions, and the buzz generated by the project's opening will definitely be worthwhile. The entire Saudi nation strives to build this linear metropolis without cars, streets, or carbon emissions. Before digging deeper into this high-tech city, let's look at its history and who came up with this astonishing idea. The line is more than just an insane city construction project. It aims to completely revolutionize the infrastructure and concepts of city development. Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman unveiled this revolutionary linear city proposal in a presentation on state television. On January 10, 2021, according to the latest news, the project's first phase is set to be completed in 2030. However, Prince Salman eagerly wants the city fully developed by 2030, but the engineers working on this project have predicted that it might take 50 years to build this smart city, due to its complex structure, the most notable of which is its underground transit system. Shockingly, the concept of the line is not a genuinely new idea. In 1882, Spanish urban architect Arturo Soria proposed a linear city model. The goal was to make it sustainable, diversify the economy, and less dependence on oil. OT Sky published aerial drone footage in October 2022, concluding that the development of this city is well underway. Moving forward, the city has many huge plans that are currently being undisclosed. Still, whatever the directors of this NOM project say about its economic stability, environment, tourism attractions, infrastructure, transportation, carbon eco vision, etc., seems unreal. The line has probably become the most coveted project in the Arab world. Neon. Neom. 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 Massive size, 170 kilometers. No cars, no roads. It is basically a $725 billion technological metropolis that will stretch 170 kilometers across the Red Sea, coastal desert, mountain, and upper valley regions. It is being built in Neom, Tabuk province, to accommodate at least 9 million people. The Saudi government also anticipates that their groundbreaking project will generate over 460,000 more jobs, contributing a whopping $48 billion addition to the entire country's GDP. The NEOM project includes a sports center, research area, airport and shipping port, industrial sectors, tourism venues, hotels, and restaurants. It's no less than a full-fledged country with every possible facilitation. The line even makes the luxuries more efficient because it is backed mainly by artificial intelligence. For example, AI could evaluate data from various sensors to gain insights into resident perceptions and needs. It can provide residents with personalization such as shopping, etc., robot maids, flying taxis, and a giant artificial moon headline as features of a promised tech paradise. Even Neom's executive director Giles Pendleton said, Saudi Arabia will not build the line directly but will use a lot of artificial intelligence to design through a digital twin backbone. Could there be any doubt that this city will be heavily AI-driven? Coming toward the smart city building and housing scheme, NEOM has already unveiled that the housing construction of the line will be highly energy efficient and sustainable, and will design to make the best use of the local climate and natural resources. The information states that the buildings are expected to be constructed using advanced materials and techniques, such as 3D printing, to make them more resilient and resistant to extreme temperatures and weather conditions with advanced features such as smart home automation, energy-efficient appliances, and other sustainable features. In the press release, Prince Salman said, the designs will challenge the traditional flat, horizontal cities and create a model for nature preservation and enhanced human livability. With all the above technologies, the transit system of the line is way beyond fantasy, to be more precise. It's something that has never happened worldwide to date. Vehicles such as cars, buses, and trains running on the track are fully built in with advanced technologies and can operate without drivers. A high-speed electric public transport service ensures no part of the line is more than 20 minutes away. If we go into more detail, the transport technology seems overwhelming. The transit system will be monitored by advanced sensor networks 
providing real-time data about traffic conditions and other factors that may affect it. Also, AI-powered analytics will predict demand for transportation services and adjust the transit system accordingly. The construction company NEOM and the Saudi authorities strive to make this metropolis compete with cities like Dubai, Abu Dhabi, Seoul, and Tokyo. NEOM announced in a tweet that they are comparing South Korea's capital Seoul to their new revolutionary city and are highly ambitious. That their smart city would be capable of housing the whole Seoul population with just 6% of its urban land. The line of Saudi Arabia will undoubtedly be the first city to care the most about its environmental interference. It aims to be a model of sustainable urban development, with a focus on reducing the city's carbon footprint and minimizing its impact on the environment. Cars and other vehicles will be replaced by walking, cycling, or autonomous transportation because the city is planned longitudinally, stretching 170 kilometers while being only 1 kilometer wide. Hence, it's understood that everyday essentials like schools, jobs, factories, etc., are within walking distance. This will reduce or make almost zero traffic in the street, which will enhance the air quality. Similarly, the city would be powered entirely by renewable energy, such as solar and wind power. It will also include a district cooling system that will use the cooling effect of groundwater to decrease the energy required for air conditioning. And last, but not least, there will be many green spaces and parks throughout the city to help improve air quality, provide a habitat for wildlife, and create pleasant outdoor spaces for residents to enjoy. How does the public perceive this revolutionizing metropolis? There is no doubt about how well technologized and revolutionizing the city will be, but it's not fully developed yet, and there are only a few footages and press releases about it. So public opinions vary from person to person. Some people have praised the project for its ambitious goals of creating a sustainable and environmentally friendly city that would provide a high quality of life for its residents. On the other hand, there are still many concerns related to it. It's an extremely expensive large-scale project, and the funding mechanism has yet to be clarified. There are also concerns about the project's environmental impact and the balance against its developmental needs. These negative thoughts of the public cannot be neglected because it could impact the final outcome of the project, but some information can't be disclosed to the public too early. We can only hope for the best and let the Saudi authorities manage the concerns. You can't deny that robotics and AI are the future and the line project of NEOM is the most prominent example. The simple jobs of traffic police, drivers, and security guards may not be involved in this city's progress because everything will be fully automated or powered by artificial intelligence. Despite this, the line will face significant challenges and setbacks initially because revolutizing is not easy. It is also unclear how the public will perceive it, but we wish Saudi Arabia a successful start to its Beyond Fantasy project. Do you think the line of NEOM will be successful? Will Saudi Arabia's billion-dollar project usher in a new metropolis age? We'd love to hear your thoughts. Tell us your take in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more interesting galore text videos. Until next time.